Oi. Yo. I woke up late today, so why don't you be useful and get me coaches? For the California Limited. Coaches? But the controller wants me to- I don't really care what the controller says. Get me coaches ready now. But I- I said, get me my coaches now. For the third time, Joe, get me my coaches now. What if he doesn't want to? Or keep out of this duck war and get out of here. Are you deaf? I am ordering you to get the out of here. Sorry, but the only orders me and Joe take are from the controller. Now you leave the my friend alone, you big smelly brute. How dare you speak to me like that? I'll teach you a jolly good lesson if you don't get out of here now! Go on, then. What are you going to do? Oh, oh God, groaned Cameron. He cannot sleep because of all this arguing that she and Joe are doing. Cameron, cried Joe. What happened to you? Oh, I'm just tired. I didn't have enough sleep today. Now, oh, what's all the shouting about? Cameron, we've got ourselves a situation here. He doesn't know how to speak to his superiors. You are no superiors. You are just a bunch of foul, dirty pigs. Dude, that's just asking for it. So what are you going to do, huh? Before Wilbur could say any sentence, Tony had arrived. He was just going to pick up a freight train to pick from the yards. What's going on? Is Wilbur stepping out of line? You know, I should just call you a piece of scrap. If you're going to call me that, because you are a piece of scrap waiting to be cut up at the scrapyard. Why, you insolent son of a... There was a pretty long silence. Until Dash 9 have arrived and broke the scene. Insolent? You think he's insolent? You have been terrorizing us ever since we've replaced you. And us three are tired of it. We will not put up with it anymore. You will no longer order us about. It ends today. Do you understand? My, I've never heard you shout like that before. We will do as we please. We will not respect common diesel locomotives like you. They are the enemy men of the Santa Fe Railroad. I think someone would beg to differ. Vermin of the Earth? No wonder these diesels don't respect you. You don't respect them! Well, that's not what I meant, sir. I was just... Don't give me that rubbish. This is not at all the... Santa Fe. ...way. The way of the... ...DTSF. ...is to do your work without fuss and help those in need. Not treat them like filth. It's clear to me that I need to keep a better eye on them. From now on, there is to be no more monstrous behavior towards smaller and younger engines. Is that clear? I guess. Wrong! The answer is yes! And as for you three, I must apologize if I ever seem too busy to deal with it. You must tell me if this goes on again, and I will respond immediately in the future. Thank you, sir! And by the way, Chief, I think your passengers are waiting. Oh my giddy arms, I forgot! 
<laughs> Hope I'm not too late now, said Evan. That was insane. Wilbur, you have really stood up to the big engines. Yeah, I agree, said Nash Nine. <laughs> Yes, I did, guys. Yes, I did. What did I just miss? Said Evan. Everything, man. What do you mean? Well, he really stood up to the big engines. Wait, he really did? Yes, indeed. You had to congratulate him for that. So, guys, what do you want to do now? Said Joe. I don't know, dude. Maybe we could spend the rest of the day, huh? Pulling some freight cars I got her diesels to. Well, but I'm a passenger locomotive. Oh, you don't want passengers. Really? Said Joe excitedly. Yes, you could, Joe. 